It's LinkedIn Learning author Monica Wahi with today's Data Science Makeover. Watch while Monica Wahi demonstrates how to store the names of headers from a data frame in a character vector in R. Hi everyone! We're going to pick on this fake data set called line items again. I'm going to show you how to scrape the headers out of this data frame into a character vector. Now, why would you ever do that? Well, it's so you can use the vector to manipulate the data frame. I know it sounds totally dysfunctional, but the data frame sometimes won't listen and you need vectors to help you manipulate it. I already read in the line items data set, but let's just quick run it so you can look at it. It's in RDS format. Do you know how to read in an RDS? Okay, well, if you don't, look in the description and I'll put a link to my video on how to read in an RDS. All right, let's look at the line items data set. See, that's the data set. It's just a few columns. Line item ID, report ID, report order, cost row ID, and total cost. I just made all that data up but it's very realistic fake data, like high-end costume jewelry. Okay, so wait, so what do we want? Oh yeah, we wanna scrape these headers into a character vector. Yeah, I'll show you that. First, there's gotta be a better way of seeing our column names than just running the data set and scrolling through the console. And there is, it's the call names command. See that? Call names and then the argument, which is the data frame. Okay, I'm gonna run this. Yep, there they are. They are at the bottom of the console. Okay, now guess what we are going to do? You guessed it. We are going to use the little arrow to put those call names into a vector. See the arrow? It's really a less than sign with a dash. But anyway, it means we are making an object. See the object we're making? It's called line items underscore header. That's what I decided to name the vector. And you know what this is? We just ran this only without the arrow. So theoretically, this code should put the headers of the line items data frame into the vector named line items underscore headers. Let's see how that goes. Okay, the code ran. So let's look at what's in our new vector. I'm gonna run it. And there you go. Beautiful, gorgeous, fabulous header. And that is your data makeover for today. Thank you for watching this data science makeover with LinkedIn Learning author Monica Wahi. Remember to check out Monica's data science courses on LinkedIn Learning. Click on the link in the description.